implementation of IT can also improve the flow of management information on a real-time basis to key decision makers. A good example of this could be observed during the recently concluded operations in the North. Through proper IT integration, we were able to provide live video feeds of the battlefield from captured by unmanned aerial vehicles, not just to field commanders, but to the key decision makers in the hierarchy up to and including his, his Excellency the President. This was a critical tool in achieving success against the terrorists while ensuring the safety of the civilian population trapped by the ATP. If something like this can be achieved in a combat situation, there should be no barriers to the proper exploitation of IT in the private sector. To fully unleash the potential of IT in Sri Lanka, however, we will need to increase the emphasis we place on it in terms of education. Major General Shavendra Silva also commented on the usage of information technology for the betterment of the nation. Now let me use the maximum usage of information technology that was permitted to me that we witness and experience from the start to the end of the war thanks to honorable Secretary of Defense of this country. Ladies and gentlemen, it is obvious that IT plays a vital role in the present process of nation building. In fact, we as a whole should be proud that our country is one among few countries of the world which earn a global recognition in making use of IT positively in the development program, development programs and it was felicitated during the last E-Asia 2009 summit held at BMICH. We're going for a short break now. Foreign news is coming up next. Well, there we end the foreign news. Coming up is news from the sports bar. Welcome back, you're watching News Live on Ripper Viney and we now move on to the latest from the sports world and we've got Sharon with the latest. Very good evening Sharon. Good evening Paisal, good evening Chanka, very good evening to you. Well on top news it's about the local scene on cricket news that is and St. Peter's College Bumble Apitia clinched the little 13 run Ketlu trophy winning the under 13 division 1 limited over cricket championship. They beat Mana Mavidyale Kol Pitti in the finals played at Mercantile Services Association grounds in Colombo yesterday. The All Island Schools Under 13 Limited Over Cricket Tournament was organized by the Mascom Institute and Sri Lanka Schools Cricket Association with the sponsorship of Bank of Ceylon. St. Peter's College Bamla Pitiya edged out Mahanama Vidyalaya Kolpiti by a solitary wicket in the thrilling final. After dismissing their opponents for 171 runs, the Petrites went through some anxious moments before they reached their target of 172 runs, losing nine wickets in their 47th over to emerge champions. Shavin Gunasekara, who excelled in all three departments of the game, was the judge the man of the match. It couldn't have been any closer than that. Chilau Marian, Skurnagala Youth, Colts and Pauling Cricket Club emerged victorious in yesterday's matches of Interclub Women's 2020 tournament. Chilau Marians beat Moratua Cricket Club by 123 runs, while Colts beat Lanka Women's by 44 runs. Kurnagala Youth emerged victorious by beating Sri Lanka Combined Ladies by 8 wickets. Pauling beat Southern Ladies by 13 runs. Sandamali Golavatta, Udeshika Prabodhini and Sweeney Diyarvis scored half centuries. Sweeney Diyarvis, Sandhani Abbe Vikrama and Sumudu Fernando excelled in all three departments of the game. Former Sri Lankan captain Sashikala Sevadhana snapped up four wickets for two overs without concerning a run as Marion's ladies cruised to a rousing 123 runs victory over Moratua ladies. And that's your update on sports. Back to the main desk.
ticket and contribute. To rebuild the Yarn Baby Friendship Track, now you can purchase a new Paranathan ticket from leading supermarket chains, banks, or any railway station island-wide. Uthamitaru.